welcome to tonight's troubleshooting moment. Alright, I've run into this question a handful of times where people say, I've got a problem with my speed controller. I'm running a Hobbling speed controller and no matter what I do, I can't get the unit to respond to changes in speed. The governor's not working. I run the internal gov all the time and all of a sudden now I want to switch over to the V-bar gov and my V-bar gov doesn't work. All right, so I want to show you kind of what happens if you don't have this little wire plugged in. Now, this is the RPM signal that comes off of your lead, all right? So off the front of your speed controller, you'll have, or back or whichever one you've got, whether it's a little cord, you'll have one lead, which is your signal, all right? And let's see, that goes this way. So in this case here, signal goes that direction. And the other is your BEC or backup BEC and your RPM signal. So RPM signal right here plugs into that top port on the other side. Okay, this way over here. See, right there on the other side. There we go, way over there on the other side. It's labeled RPM on top. I've unplugged this one for the purpose of this test, but that plugs into the top on one of the flat ports labeled RPM, and you need to look at which way the orientation is for the signal, okay? So let's show you what happens if you run your ESC without that, all right? So there's helicopter. You're gonna hear it spin up in the background. We don't need to look at that anymore. Just understand that when you hear the big thing going, whirl, 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 that's this thing spinning around. All right, so here we're gonna go. So we're gonna first fire it up. We're gonna watch here and we're gonna see that we have a throttle output command going on, and we're gonna be re reading RPM. We will read RPM, even though that's still hooked up, because why? I have a telemetry cable. Telemetry cable right here is going from the telemetry port on the speed controller back to the Neo right there, right there. So let's watch what that number does there. Watch what that happens there. All right, Motor idle. so let's pull up. Here it's pulling up. So that is a telemetry input we hit 65 percent throttle output we're in idle of one we're gonna switch bank oh no nothing's happening my governor's not working i hate evo i hate neo i hate hobby Lane. all right let's see why it happens where that comes from all right so we all understand that if you lose an rpm signal in flight you want to have some sort of default speed that the helicopter can go to without an rpm signal you want to have a uh, in the old nitro days you'd have a v curve right so let's look what that number is here and v control that number is basic throttle okay basic throttle and collective add so if you add those two up basic throttle is 15 collective add is sorry base throttle is 50 collective add is 15 that's 65 if you remember that was 65. So we're going to show you a test real quick. Let's go back in here. Let's change collective add on the second bank to 10. All right. So we're going to spool back up. Spooling. If you remember, bank one was 50 and 15. There's that 65. Bank two, 60. 65, 60. So what's happening is, is when you what's happening is when you do not have a RPM signal from the ESC going to the RPM port, the RPM port is the input for the governor response. If you don't have that, your V control system will default to basic throttle plus collective add, and that's the ESC output. So if you find that you're having a situation where when you're trying to go from like an internal gov to the V control gov, it's not working, but you say, but I'm reading RPM on the screen. The RPM from the screen is from telemetry, but you need to have the RPM input signal for the governor. So something to check, make sure your RPM signal is plugged in, make sure it's plugged in the right way, or make sure it's plugged in all the way. All right, we'll be back. Okay. I plugged it back in. See, she's plugged in all the way over there. She's plugged in properly. Now 
We're going to fire back up. We're going to watch that RPM sit in the climb. Stay right Here we are running. On. We're in bank one. We're going to come up. The bank one set point. There we are. Bank one set point. We're governing. Switch bank. Change your head speed. High head speed. There you go. So now, if you fly V control and you fly hobby wing, you know what it looks like from a troubleshooting standpoint if you don't have the RPM signal plugged into your Neo. Hope this helps. Troubleshoot, get you in the air. Have a good one. Be safe.